Hello, it's Easy Target coming back at you with another Diablo 3 Challenge Rift video. This is Challenge Rift Week 99. And before we get started with anything, please remember not to complete this Challenge Rift until the end of the week. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice my run for you guys. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started here. We got a Demon Hunter, as you can see on screen. Let's go ahead and pop into the game and see what we're working with. Alright, starting off, we got Reign of Vengeance, Vault, Vengeance, Companion, Evasive Fire, and strafe taking a look at the passives we have tactical advantage blood vengeance hot pursuit and night stalker taking a quick look at the gear looks like it's a legacy of nightmare build so if you guys are looking for a legacy of nightmare build and you want to go ahead and build it for the season this will be a very good candidate for you to use but you'll be able to replace your rings with something else so you can tweak your set a little bit this is a fun fast build if you can go ahead and get these items and ancient gear and do remember you don't need to have every single one of them to have fun to get going with the legacy of nightmare build i'd start off with like five or so and then you can get going pretty pretty decently you can go ahead and farm low level torments and this build's going to be built around the strafe so you're just going to go ahead and spin around the map and basically kill, kill everything it's basically like the whirlwind farm but does everything from long range so it's pretty pretty fun and pretty quick you just gotta watch out for getting hit by big elite guys and killing you but other than that let's go ahead and jump on into how I'm gonna use it alright basically basically about moving around the map I'm gonna go ahead and use my strafe just to go ahead and kill the mobs while I'm going from elite to elite once I get over to an elite or a big old pack I'm gonna go ahead and use my rain of vengeance and go ahead and drop it down on the pack that's gonna give us a little bit of extra damage while we're going through if you get stuck or whatnot you can go ahead and use your vault and some things that'll get you out of so you don't be stuck if you're stuck you're probably gonna die and then you also have your vengeance you can go ahead and pop that for a little bit extra damage as well and then lastly whenever you're spinning through if you're not hitting enemies you're gonna be losing your resource so whenever you're about half resource you can go ahead and hit your companion and that'll go ahead and re refresh your resource a little bit just like that and that's basically it you just rinse and repeat go through the level as fast as you can go from elite to elite because the trash won't take too long to take down and you should be able to complete this in two floors. Let's go ahead and see how I can do in the rift. Alright, starting off, just go ahead and wait until the first room whenever the elite pops up. Go ahead and pop your vengeance and then go ahead and use your strength to go ahead and start doing that damage. You don't have to be right on top of the elites, but you want to be kind of close so whenever your fan and knives go out, you do uh, hit them with that because that does a pretty decent amount of damage for you. And then you just want to go ahead and use that strength to continue through the level. But if you do find little packs where there's no enemies and you're losing your resource go ahead and just move without using your strafe go ahead and conserve or recharge your resource back up so then whenever the trash starts back up or you hit the next elite then you'll go ahead and start spinning around again and going to get your damage put out if you're spinning with no enemies you'll lose your resource and you won't be able to do damage and then you just keep going through i forgot to do the reign of vengeance while whenever i was going through i forgot to pop vengeance whenever it was off a of cooldown so if I did that, I think I could have got a little bit better of a time, but all things considering, I did a pretty decent time here, and this one shouldn't be too tough for you guys as long as you're just spinning around and not running out of resource and not standing still. Hopefully this video has helped you out. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave it down in the comments down below. If you like this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. It really help out the channel, and you'll also get notifications for weekly Challenge Rift videos. This is Easy Target, and I'm out.